When someone tells you that they are not ready for a relationship, believe them the first time. I got a glitch. Hello everyone and welcome back. It's Ash, your truth bombing fairy godmother for everything love, dating, and relationships. Today's video topic is one that I have touched on before, but I thought it was time to do an entire video about, which is the topic of being told by someone that they are not ready for a relationship. I have absolutely been there before, so I'm gonna be talking about my personal experiences with this, what the I'm not ready for a relationship line really means, and why you should most likely walk away from this person as soon as possible. But first, if you think you could benefit from new love dating and relationship videos every single week, then I would love it if you considered subscribing to my channel by tapping that button below. Okay, so let me start off by saying that everything I'm gonna be discussing in this video is based on the assumption that you do want a relationship or you do want something more committed. If two people who are 100% in the same boat of not wanting a relationship are enjoying their time together, then great, zero issues with that. And there would be no point in making a video about that if the two people are both on the same page and are both genuinely content with a more casual arrangement. But it's when you want something different or you want something more than this person is prepared to give you that it obviously becomes an issue. And whenever I speak to someone who is in this position, whether they're trying to win back an ex who has said that they're not ready to be in a relationship or they're currently dating someone who isn't prepared to commit, I always seem to hear the same thing from them. It's complicated. And honestly, it's really not. This is one of the few situations that I can say with confidence, it's really not complicated at all. If you're in this situation, why are you pursuing someone who has communicated to you that they do not want the same things as you do? What about wasting your time with someone who is clearly not on the same page as you are you finding complicated? And I wish someone had asked me that question when I was younger because I truly do think I would have saved myself a lot of heartbreak. I had absolutely no business giving myself over to these guys who did not want the same thing as I did. And yet, if you're anything like me, the reason that we stick around is because we see unavailable love or emotional unavailability as a challenge to rise to. Because after all, if we can just convince this person that we are the one worth changing for, how amazing and incredible would that make us feel? How much would that stroke our ego? But it's a trap because love should never be something that we have to prove our worth for. And by going down a path that is reinforcing the message that we have to win someone over in order to be chosen or loved, we are staying stuck in patterns of self-abandonment. We are not winning over some grand prize when maybe, and that's a huge maybe, you finally receive love from someone who wasn't prepared to give it to us. Instead, you're teaching yourself that having to fight for, convince someone, or win over love is acceptable when it isn't. When someone tells you that they are not ready for a relationship, believe them the first time. When someone tells you who they are, believe them. When someone tells you that they are not ready, that is not a green light to see how long it takes to wear them down or make them change. You are worth so much more than having to wear someone down in order for them to finally choose you. If someone does not want the same thing as you, that should be a non-negotiable. That is your sign to pack it up and leave. To share a personal anecdote about this, my second boyfriend had told me on several occasions prior to us becoming official, but I'll get to that in a minute, that he did not want a relationship and that he did not want the label of having a girlfriend. Red flag. Whereas 
I did want that. That was something that mattered to me. And it wasn't just a label. I wanted to know where I stood with him. And at the time, that situation felt very complicated for me too. Because here was this guy who was saying that he didn't want a relationship, yet he was involving me in so many different aspects of his life as if I was his girlfriend. And I went ahead and assigned my own meaning to that. That, you know, he clearly really liked me, but uh, perhaps he was just scared or needed time or whatever. And you know what? Maybe he was scared, but it wasn't my place to assign a meaning to something that was honestly irrelevant and beside the point because scared or not, he wasn't ready for what I wanted. So I continued to allow the allure of him bringing me into his world and this fantasy of him eventually falling in love with me to override what he had very clearly told me from the start. And I found myself constantly making excuses for why it made sense to still spend time with him, despite knowing that we wanted different things. And in hindsight, the advice that I would give to myself or to someone else who is in this position is again, to believe someone the first time when they tell you what they do or don't want. Instead of continuing to linger in the hopes that he would eventually change his mind, I should have said the moment I found out that we were on different pages, thanks, but no thanks. This has been wonderful and it really hurts me to have to do this, but it's clear that we're not on the same page and we want different things and that's totally okay. Best wishes. And then maybe if someone you're involved with then goes away and reflects and realizes that they've had a genuine change of heart, completely uninfluenced by you, and decides that they do want to give this a go after all, then maybe, just maybe, you can then reassess at that time together. But please do not expect that to happen because there is a huge huge possibility that it won't. But the point being here, it is not your challenge, your job, or your responsibility to inspire someone to want to be with you. They need to show up ready and willing on their own accord. And even then, if you say your goodbyes to this person only for them to express a change of heart and you know come back and you decide together to give things a try, you better believe that that person should be now proving to you that they are genuinely ready instead of just doing so to appease you. They better show up prepared to do some work because this is exactly what my ex did not do. I hung around way longer than I should have. I eventually gave him an ultimatum in which he reluctantly did make me his girlfriend. And then he was completely unavailable for the entire duration of the relationship. And you think that that would have been enough for me to go, <laughs> you know what, maybe he really wasn't ready after all. But nope, I kept clinging on to that false hope until he eventually dumped me all on his own. To kind of drive home what I'm saying here, I'll share this post that Rising Woman posted recently, which said, you will never need to convince the right person to love you. No matter what, you cannot change them, make them do the work, or get them to commit to you if they're not ready to show up. Change must be inspired from within, and actions are always louder than words. And in this case, I'd say that words are pretty damn loud too, because if someone is honest enough with you to say, hey, I'm not ready, that's about as loud and clear as it can possibly get. But anyway, she also goes on to say, the truth is you can't change people or force them to do the work. People are who they are and it's not up to you to try and change them. Sometimes you meet a person and they're in a space when they're ready to do the work and sometimes they're not. That doesn't make them bad or toxic and it doesn't make you unworthy. You have to stop making so much meaning out of other people's journey. Someone's willingness or unwillingness to do the work in order to be ready for a relationship has very little to do with you. 
that's something that has to be internally motivated and often just comes down to timing and maturity for a lot of people. So when someone says that they're not ready to do the work, it's up to you to have your own back and walk away from someone who's not prepared to give you what you want and need. And on that note, just one more point I wanna quickly make here before wrapping this up. Please stop assigning meaning to the fact that this other person, despite saying that they're not ready, is still pursuing you. Of course they're still pursuing you because they're getting their wants and needs met, no problem. They're getting your company and whatever that entails while also not having to commit or not having to show up in a consistent or meaningful capacity. So why the hell would they pump the brakes? You have to be the one to be honest, both with yourself and this other person about your wants and needs and the fact that this person is not meeting them. The only person who can do that for you is you. Okay, my lovely people, as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope that my directness in my messaging was able to provide you some clarity if this is a situation that you're finding yourself in. I would love to hear your thoughts and stories if you're open to sharing, so please feel free to do so in the comment section down below. I love you all so much and I will see you all next week. Tell me what was in that stuff you gave me I think I like it, in fact it made me high